This video provides a summary for the 9100C NXT on how to power on, perform a checkout, setting up and starting a case, and ending a case. Please refer to the user's manual for complete information on how to operate this system. I'm Lisa Nolan, Global Education Leader with GE Healthcare. For the 9100C NXT, connect the gas supply hoses to the wall gas source or turn on the gas cylinders. Plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Make sure the system circuit breaker, located on the upper left, is in the on position. The AC indicator on the bottom left corner of the display should be on. To turn on the system, move the switch from left to right to power on. It will take approximately 50 seconds for the display screen to turn on. The power should be cycled once every 24 hours. Complete a perioperative checkout as described in the user's manual. The anesthesia machine is intended to be power cycled and fully tested once a day. All accessories that will be used during the case should be attached to the circuit to ensure accurate circuit compliance. Follow the on-screen instructions and select full test. The full test checks the ventilator leak, vaporizer leak test, flow control operation, and circuit leak test. The circuit leak test checks the bag to vent switch, proper gas supply pressures, airway pressure measurement transducer, APL valve, and manual circuit leak. Perform a full test after changing the patient tube type. Changing the patient breathing circuit after completing a ventilator leak test affects the volume measurements in all modes. When starting a case, always ensure gases are flowing. Anesthesia devices are not automatically configured to begin mechanical ventilation when a case is started. The devices are configured for both manual ventilation often referred to as bag mode, and mechanical ventilation. When the device is in bag mode, the device is not providing any ventilation support to the patient. When the device is in manual ventilation, maximum pressure is managed by the adjustable pressure limit, or APL valve. If ventilating the patient manually, ensure the APL pressure limit is appropriate for the patient. Mechanical ventilation begins by moving the bag to vent switch to the vent position. Ventilation will begin at the previous configured or default settings. To change the flow rates, adjust the air and oxygen flow knobs. The flows can be monitored from their respective flow tubes on the front of the machine. A gear linkage on the nitrous oxide and oxygen flow controls helps to keep the oxygen concentration higher than approximately 21% at the fresh gas outlet. To change the vent mode, select the menu key and select ventilation modes by pressing in the comm wheel. Select the desired ventilation mode. Set the tidal volume or inspiratory pressure using the comm wheel and confirm by pressing the hard key or by pressing in the comm wheel. To change the ventilator settings, press the hard key for the ventilation setting to be adjusted. Use the comm wheel to adjust the desired value and press the hard key or press in the comm wheel to confirm. An alarm limit settings key provides fast access to the alarm limit settings or press the menu key and select alarm setup. Set the bag to vent switch to bag. Press the end case key. Press the comm wheel to confirm. Turn off the oxygen and air gas flows.